Oh my God, I've got an amazing drag race for you. I'm sat in the new Volkswagen Golf R 20 year to celebrate 20 years of the Golf R. Next to me is an Audi S3. Next to that is a BMW M135i. Next to that is a Mercedes AMG A35. And next to that is the brand new FL5 Honda Civic Type R. And we're going to drag race them up this runway to see which is the quickest over the standing quarter mile. I've got a guest driver with me. Is of course Yanni. Hey Jan, how are you doing? I can't see because the windows are all blacked out surely illegal right hell yes this is illegal this is probably i'd say 20 percent on the front and if the police were measuring it it'd probably come back about three percent so they probably take the car away or make you take tits on the side of the road how many times have you been stopped by the police for a tinted windows and b incorrect number of plates a few times uh yeah on my um youtube you'll see that i've um, had to take tints off the side of the road on the lambo on my range rover my aventador and yeah number plates oops you don't learn i sort of bend the rules slightly anyway this is enough of this nonsense <laughs> this just got really boring real quickly it's supposed to be an exciting drag race and it is i'm going to prove it now by running through the stats on these cars this 20 year edition of the golf r two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine which puts out 333 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque drives all four wheels via seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control weighs in at 1480 kilos and costs 48,000 pounds oh my god that that Audi S3, it has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 310 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. Drives all four wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control. Weighs in at 1,500 kilos and it costs 41,000 pounds. Better value for money. Then we come to the BMW. It has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 306 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. The most torque here. It drives all four wheels via an eight speed torque converter to automatic gearbox it does have launch control that car weighs 1525 kilos and it costs the same as the audi 41,000 pounds then there's a mercedes amg a35 that has a two liter turbocharged petrol engine with 306 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque drives all four wheels via a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control that car weighs 1560 kilos and costs from 46,000 pounds and finally, we come to the new Honda Civic FL5 Type R. That has a 2-litre turbocharged petrol engine with 330 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque. It drives the front wheels only via a six-speed manual gearbox. That's why we put Racing Driver Sam in that car, the man with the most skill to launch it. Let's just say a quick hello to Racing Driver Sam. Hey Sam, I'm just bigging you up saying that you're the man to launch that car and get a good time out of it because you're professionally trained and should be able to manage a front wheel drive manual car. Okay, let's go with that then. Thanks, man. He's going to cock it up now, isn't he? <laughs> I was expecting him to come out with a whole load of excuses like he normally does. Anyway. That car weighs in at 1,430 kilos, costs 47,000 pounds, just 1,000 pounds less than this special edition Volkswagen Golf R with more power, an automatic gearbox and all wheel drive. What is Honda thinking? Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, what are you thinking? Huh? Make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Now, what I'm going to do is actually just pause the video for a second so that you can see the different stats for all the different cars. Before we race, the thing we want to do is a customary car by sound check. I'm going to start off by revving up this Golf R. Where is the soft limiter? Is there one? Hopefully not. There's not. <laughs> The exhaust sounds pretty fruity. In here it's a bit meh. Your turn to rev it up, Yanni. Hello, Yanni. Yeah, that's really rubbish. Not gonna lie. You were revving your car? Uh, I'm afraid to say I am. Terrible. Anyway, BMW, let's hear ya. I can hear that a bit from here. To be fair, it's very windy outside. We've got a terrible headwind today. Let's move on to the Mercedes AMG. And now, Honda Civic Type R. Okay, normally at this time, I'll get you to vote on which one sounds the best, but let's just switch it. Vote on which one sounds the least rubbish. Now let's race. Three, two, one. 
Oh, look at that Mercedes go! Slow. Come on, Golf! I'm not even going to beat the BMW. Come on, Golf! That was interesting, that Mercedes absolutely smashed it. That's the quickest A35 I've ever seen. It gave this golf a run for its money, and I'm not sure which one crossed the line first. Mercedes, AMG, have you got anything to say for yourself? It was all in the launch. I think once we got off the line, it was just holding steady the whole way. Yanni, you weren't even in that race. Not gonna lie, mate, this was slow. Launched initially okay, and then when it changed gear, it just like, woo, it was just slow. And BMW, did you beat the Audi? Definitely beat the Audi. I want to say I had fair to place, but I couldn't really see the Civic, so you might have to check the footage for that one. I don't think we need to check the footage at all, because I would imagine the Civic was very, very much last. Is that correct, Sam? Yeah, this was very, very last. It's difficult in this, because it doesn't want to put the power down, but then it, I've only got three and a bit thousand RPM on the launch. It's hard to get it off the line, because it just bogs straight away. Are you happy with your launch or not really, or do you think that's just the way it's going to be? I mean, we could try one more, but it's not going to be much different to that. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Mercedes won, crossing the line just ahead of the Volkswagen, but both cars completed the standing quarter mile in 12.5 seconds. The BMW was third, with a time of 12.9 seconds, the Audi finished in 13 seconds, and the Honda came last with a time of 14.1 seconds. Though I was a little bit suspicious about the A35, because the best time we've had out of one of these before over the quarter mile is 13.4 seconds. So this one was a lot quicker. Why? This is the owner of the Mercedes. I need to just check something with him. Have you tuned your car in any way, shape or form? No, nope, it's pretty standard. That is the fastest A35 I have ever seen in my entire life. Really? Do we believe him? That's the question. That's I believe him. Standard. Right, what we're going to do now is take the initial launch out of the equation and do a very slow roll on in first gear. When we get to the start of the quarter mile, someone's going to start us, then we'll race and see which car is quickest then over the quarter mile. Okay, here we go. Level with me. Come on. We'll be doing roughly just under 10. Here we go again. <laughs> Look at it! That is the quickest A35 I've ever seen. I want to get that on the dyno. Ah, actually, speaking of dynos, if you want to see how the actual power output of some cars compares to what the manufacturer said, click on the pop-out arrow up there for the link in the description below to go check out our new dyno drag race video. Anyway, A35, did you pick me on the line there? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I had you. There's something special about that car. I want to just quickly go to you, Yanni. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. The Merc and the Golf are just a little bit too fast. Do you know what? You've got like a winning voice and you've got a losing voice. You've got your losing voice on at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I have my losing voice on and I just have to keep it there. Let's just do another race, okay? Now we're going for rolling race. The cars are in their comfiest setting and we're going to do it from 50 miles an hour. And the idea of this is you're just driving around, comfy setting, you need to suddenly accelerate, you're just going to floor the accelerator, which is what we're going to do now. The Honda Civic is going to be in sixth gear, he's going to have to change down to third. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. This was really slow to change down, the Audi wasn't. Blooming Mercedes AMG again, here's the half mile. Let's just keep going. Gee, I wonder why. Goodbye, Audi. Goodbye, Honda. That's enough of that. Yanni, you did all right. Like, the kick down, it was all right, wasn't it? And then um, this is quicker. Yeah, I've done all right. But obviously, you in the murk again. Sam, where were you, mate? Yeah, I think I was in the lead for a bit and then Yanni's horsepower when he just sat there with his foot flat. Did nothing of merit to make it happen. He just sat there and he caught up with me. All right, so you lost on the gear shifts, whereas we've got like dual clutches, so it's pretty much seamless. 
How was the BMW? We've forgotten about the BMW. Well, I thought the kickdown was alright, and I've sort of been in it for a while. So the BMW was last to the half mile, is that correct? I don't even know. Let's just run the replay and we'll find out where the cars were at the half mile. <laughs> We're going to do another rolling race from 50 miles an hour though. This time we're going to be in third gear and the car's in their sporty setting. So three, two, one, go. This auto changes up and so does the Audi. Obviously Sam's going to manually shift the Civic. This is interesting. Golf wins it to the half mile. Let's keep going. That's enough. Yeah, this golf did that. Once again, Yanni took off pretty well, didn't it? You know, the, the pickup from that engine is good, but this golf is quicker. I mean, it does have more horsepower, to be fair. I'll be honest with you, I don't really like this car. Okay, which car would you have then if you wouldn't have that one out of the this lineup here? The Merc is because it's a Merc, but I actually think the Golf and the Golf looks best. So for me, it'd be between the Golf or the Civic. I just can't get over the price of the Civic 47. That's so much. Okay, now we're going for a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? <laughs> Yanni, you came last! I don't know whether I broke late or this car is just bad. Look how well the Civic has done. It is the lightest car, but it's done so well. And the BMW. Yeah, this Civic stops real, real well. It's really flat, it's good, good car. You must be happy with yourself as well, BMW driver. Pretty chuffed with that, I'll take it. Mercedes, yeah, it managed to beat the Golf. Yeah. Insightful.